There's many ways to tune your guitar. Maybe you're home and you don't have any way to get a note to tune. So we're just gonna tune the guitar to something close, all right? But the guitar itself is gonna be in tune, and that's called relative tuning, right? So how do I know my guitar is out of tune? Well, maybe I learned a chord, I learned G, and I play this chord, and it sounds something like that. So that can't be right. So the standard way of doing this is your sixth string is probably not gonna move too far out of tune. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use that to start tuning the rest of the guitar. So that note is E, right? And now I'm gonna take that E, that sixth string, and I'm gonna try and tune the fifth string, A, to that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a little pattern and the reason why it works is because this note is A on the sixth string. So I'm gonna use this A, which is in tune, to go ahead and tune my A string, which is out of tune, right? So I play that one note, right? And then I go ahead and play that string, right? So that's, that's not right, right? It's, to me, it sounds too low. So I'm going to bring it up slowly, right? I barely turn this, barely turn this, right? And now, still a little bit out, right? So I'm going to change it a little bit more. Maybe, maybe hold it down still and use your other hand to, to tune it, right? Get it nice and, and now there you go. So now I've got my sixth string, the E string in tune. And I've got my A string in tune. Now I'm gonna use the A string, the fifth string, to tune the next string, the fourth string. And you're gonna to go to the very same spot on the guitar, but on the fifth string, right? So let's just recap. We went on the fifth fret in order of the sixth string in order to tune the fifth string. Now we're gonna go on the fifth fret of the fifth string in order to tune the fourth string. So I'm gonna go through the same thing. Here's my note in tune. And there's my other note. Can't be right, right? So I have and I have to me that sounds lower, right? But I'm just gonna oh that can't it's getting worse, right? So let me so that's another way you could do it, you know. You sort of go in different directions and see which ways which ways are getting better, you know? And there it is. There's there it's up to up to pitch, right? Let's make sure. Okay, so now we've got the sixth string in tune, the fifth string in tune, the fourth string in tune. Now we're gonna use the fourth string in order to tune the third string. It's the exact same way. You're gonna to go to the fifth fret of the fourth string. You're gonna play that note. And then you're gonna play the third string by itself. So I have and then I have To me, that sounds higher, right? So I'm gonna try and bring it down. This is a moment where your ears may fool you because these three strings, the bottom strings, they have windings on them, right? And these three have no windings on them. So these can sound a little, a little thinner, right? So what happens is, is you, your ear can fool you. That, oh, that sounds higher, but no, that's not higher. It's just a different sound, right? A different tone, but that's the same, you know? Okay, so we've tuned the sixth, we've tuned the fifth, we've tuned the fourth, We've tuned the third, and now we're gonna tune the second, and here you have to be careful because now I'm not gonna to go to the fifth fret, I'm gonna to go to the fourth fret, right? So I'm gonna play that note. To me, that sounds lower, so I'm gonna bring it up a little bit. Right. right, good. And then, finally, the last string, we're gonna use, we're gonna do the exact same method, except we're back to the fifth fret. Very close, right? And that's it. Right, that's pretty good. And now, let's go back to that G chord and see if it's in tune. Much better, right? So that's how you tune a guitar. If you have no, no other way to do it, you could just use your own, your own guitar to tune itself.